Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I'm here to do the October 2024 tarot reading. This is going to be for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am using the Gothic Tarot. If you'd like to purchase this deck, click the link in the description box below. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message and share with my viewers the highest good of all. The beginning of the month, we're going to take the top card. Middle of the month, we're going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, we're going to take the bottom card. Okay, and let's see what we have here, Taurus. We begin the month of October with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, and the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. However, he does arrive on time at his destination, okay, with all of his T's. Uh, crossed and his eyes dotted. Okay, so if you've been waiting on something, uh, you know, to show up for all of the hard work that you've been doing, this is a sign that the work that you've been doing is going to soon pay off. Okay, you may need to hold for just a little while longer to see it because like I said, this is a very slow moving energy. But like I said, this night does arrive. OK, and he does, you know, bring results for whatever effort you've already put in. Um, this night may also be bringing you work or, or money or even love in the beginning of the month. And then in the middle of the month, we have the Queen of Swords. Wow. Queen of Swords might be somebody you're dealing with in the middle of the month. This could be an air sign. It could be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Or this may be the energy that you are taking on in the middle of the month. The Queen of Swords is the queen who has been through it all. She has a lot of wisdom. She doesn't allow her emotions get in the way when she's making a decision. She's a very logical thinker. And she could sense BS coming from a mile away. She has no problem cutting out people, places, or things that do not serve her highest good. So you may be taking on this persona in the middle of the month where maybe there are certain people or, or things that you need to cut loose, you know, and let go of. And then at the end of the month, we have... Okay, the six of cups. Now, the cups are our emotions, okay, and our feelings. And this is a very nostalgic type of energy at the end of the month. This is the card of somebody from your past coming back, okay? And this could be, you know, maybe someone you knew in childhood. This may be a partner, spouse, or lover that maybe you've had recently that you've parted ways with. This could be a friend or family member. Whatever it is, do not get stuck in the past, okay? We all want to take a trip down memory lane, but we don't want to live there. Um, if this person coming back from the past was someone that, you know, was toxic, then, you know, you don't want to get caught up in the nostalgia of old memories. Remember the bad memories too, you know what I mean? So you don't get caught up in that toxic cycle again. Or like I said, it may be a sweet person from your past that you just haven't seen in a while. But whatever it is, somebody from the past is coming back at the end of the month. What an interesting month for you. If you've enjoyed the reading, please hit the like button help the channel grow. I'd appreciate it. Drop a comment down below if this resonates with you. If you'd like to purchase the deck, click the link in the description box below. But above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.